Hey everyone, I'm Varun, the founder and CEO at Hammer Missions, and in today's video, we'll have a look at what focal length is and how it impacts drone operations. We'll also have a look at the difference between true focal length and the 35mm equivalents. Over the last decade, commercial drones have evolved to carry a large variety of payloads. The most common payloads are high-definition cameras. The majority of these cameras have unique characteristics that determine the quality of the images captured by the camera. One such characteristic is the focal length of the drone camera. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to our channel, and if you're watching this on YouTube, click the alert notification. So, what is focal length? Technically, the focal length of a camera measures how effectively it can converge light entering the camera. Essentially, the focal length describes the angle of view for a lens. Does the lens capture the entire target scene? And how does the object within the scene look within the frame? Lenses with longer focal lengths have narrower angles of view, so when you look at things through a long focal length, they appear to be larger than they are when you see them with your naked eyes. However, a shorter focal length takes in a much wider angle of view, so elements seem to be much smaller in the frame than they do to our eyes. Hopefully, you now have a better understanding of focal length, so if we have a measure for the camera's true focal length, then what is the 35mm equivalent, and where does it come from? So to explain that, we'll have to go back to the old days. In the old days, photos were developed on film, where the, there was a physical imaging area of 35mm. Digital cameras today use sensor widths, a diagonal width of the, of the sensor, that, have, that are similar to the, the film in the old days, uh, as the imaging area. Modern cameras, however, are no longer limited to using 35mm as their sensor width because they're digital. They now come in all the other sizes, 25mm, 20mm, 15mm and so on. These sizes change the camera's true focal length. The focal length of the camera are often converted into their 35mm equivalents for legacy reasons. That is the focal length of the camera when converting to the sensor size, uh, when converting the sensor size to the 35mm equivalent. So essentially, the sensor sizes have changed and therefore the focal lengths have changed. Now let's have a look at how to calculate the true focal length of the, of the lens from a 35mm equivalent. To do this, you simply divide the 35mm equivalent focal length by the crop factor. The crop factor is the ratio of the sensor's diagonal to the 35mm sensor diagonal. That's shown on the screen over here. So let's have an example camera and work it out. With a 25mm diagonal sensor, the crop factor will be 1.5 as it will be 35mm divided by 25mm. As I mentioned previously, the true focal length is actually the 35mm equivalent divided by crop factor. So the true focal length essentially will be equal to 35mm equivalent focal length divided by crop factor. And assuming that we have a camera of 50 meters equivalent focal length, the true focal length would then be 33.3 millimeters, which is essentially 50 millimeters divided by 1.5. Perhaps you are wondering how focal length affects the drone operations and where to use the focal length. An essential part of a drone mission is selecting the right camera. If you're capturing images of a tall, far away structure, you'll want to use a long focal length, but a narrow field of view. On the other hand, if you're capturing a large and wide close-up structure, a shorter focal length will do the trick. As is the case with most drone operations, it's important to understand the right tool for the right job. For instance, DJI drones such as the DJI Matrice allow you to attach variable payloads so that you can use the same drone for different tasks. With Hammer Missions, you can also choose variable drone cameras for mission planning, allowing you to use the same software for different tasks. We need to know whether we are discussing the 35mm equivalent of the camera or the actual focal length of the camera to be able to configure these parameters correctly. The focal length coated when purchasing DJI cameras and associated lenses is often the 35mm equivalent. However, when using the focal length for technical calculations, for instance calculating GSD, which you can go check out in a different video, actually requires you to use the true focal length of the camera. If you want to learn more about ground sampling distance, as I mentioned, you can read more of our resources on this, and you can also check out a link in the description below. As you plan your drone flights, you should also consider whether the drone mission planning tool supports a specific camera and focal length. For instance, you can use hammer missions with a wide range of cameras and variable focal lenses, and even define your own camera from scratch. In the description section, there is a link to a list of supported cameras in Hammer, and also how you can actually set up your focal length in Hammer Missions. 
So to summarize, in this video, we looked at the difference between a drone's true focal length and a 35 mil equivalent. If you have any questions, please do leave a comment below. If you're interested in trying out Hammer Missions, you can head over to our site and get a 14 day free trial. Thanks so much for watching. And if you liked this video, press the like button, subscribe, share it with others, and feel free to check out more of our content. Until then, we'll see you the next time.